Good evening, YouTubers. It's Justin or New Time Travel Jaime 88. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another Throwback Thursday. And this week, it's a special one because I'm going to be showing off my Batman and Superman movies on VHS collection. And this is the updated edition because I'm going to show the entire Batman movies and Superman movies that I got. I have two copies of Batman, two copies of Batman Return, plus Batman Forever, one copy, and two copies of Batman and Robin. And down here I have two copies of Superman the movie. We'll get to those in a minute. Plus Superman 2, one copy, one copy of Superman 3, and one copy of Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. If you haven't seen my previous video, go check it out. The quality of my previous video are awful. So, I'm doing this in a better quality. So, before we get started, I'd like to give a quick shout-out to both Joshua Cook and Anthony Chippo. Good job. Excellent video. Okay, let's get down to business, shall we? We'll start off with Batman. That's right. This movie's from 1989, and the video itself is also 1989. And this movie stars Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton. And also has Kim Basinger, Robert Wall, Pat Hingle, Billy D. Williams, Michael Golf, and Jack Palanz. Directed by Tim Burton. And the movie's from 1989. The movie of the decade says Eric Preminger of KGO TV San Francisco. Four stars. Spectacular Entertainment says Jack Garner and Gannett News Service. I triumph. You cannot take your eyes off it, says Peter Travers, Rolling Stones. Closed caption, rated PG 13, digitally processed, and it's 126 minutes. Here we go. Oops. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And this has two print dates. August 10th, 1989 and August 11th, 1989. And I watched this yesterday after I come from the doctor. Okay, now... The way this film opens up, it starts with the Diet Coke commercial, which featuring Alfred the Butler, followed by the Warner Brothers catalog commercial with Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, the FBI warning screen, the 1986 Warner Home Video logo with a subsidiary of Warner Brothers Incorporated, a Warner Communication Company with the fanfare, the 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures logo, a Warner Communication Company, Batman variant, starting in the movie. At the end, it's got the music video by, no, actually the music at the, appear on the end credits by Prince. Can't remember what music was heard in the end credits, but it also has distributed by Warner Brothers, a Warner Communication Company. That's it. I, and this also has dial tones at the end. And also at the beginning, too. But I'm going to show you guys a demo copy of Batman, which I do not have. I know my buddy Joshua Cook has this copy right here. It says here, for the compliments of Coca-Cola. But this price is expensive. I was going to get it, but... Mm -mm. That is too expensive. Hopefully, I will get my hands on that copy soon. But, moving on to... Here's another copy of Batman. And this is a reprint. Sticker label. Even though it's crooked, but that's alright. This time, it's printed on May 8th. 1997 
And this copy opens up with the warning screen, the 1997 Warner Home Video logo, and the 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures, a Warner Communication Company Batman variant. At the end, same thing at the end. The end credits with music by Prince and distributed by Warner Brothers. Next, Batman Returns. My God, this movie turns 30 years old. And this is a 1992 movie with Michael Keaton once again. Also has Danny DeVito, Michelle Pfeiffer. And also has Christopher Walken, Michael Goff, Pat Hingle, Michael Murphy, directed by Tim Burton. And this is also from 1992. And this also has a cameo appearances by Paul Rubens. Sensational, a fun house of comic and crazy surprises as Pat Collins of WWOR TV. Explosively entertaining, says Peter Travers, Rolling Stones. Okay, rated PG 13 once again with digitally processed and closed caption, 126 minutes. Same running time as. Batman. But here's the rare one. The tape with the sticker label. And the print date right here is September 2nd, 1992. They kept the original print date. I'm surprised. I know there's another copy which does have the ink label on there. Anyway, the tape opens for Batman Returns. The warning screen, the still version of the 1986 Warner Home Video logo with a subsidiary of Warner Brothers Incorporated, a Time Warner Company, the 1990 Warner Brothers Pictures logo, Batman variant, Re Batman Returns, starred in the movie. At the end, it's got the end credit with the um, music, can't remember which... Um, Song that was heard in the end credits, but it's got distributed by Warner Brothers, a Time Warner company. But even though in 1992 of that year, Warner Brothers has a new byline at the time, a Time Warner Entertainment Company. Okay, and I oh, forgot to show you guys the still pictures from the movie. So, so, excuse me, sorry, I apologize, I just burp. Here's another copy of Batman Returns. This time it's got the Warner Brothers Hits catalog on there. Here's the ink label. This time a later pressing from March 10th, 2003. Even though this is still a 1998 VHS. And a tape opens up with the warning screen. The 1997 Warner Home Video logo with the Warner Brothers 75 Years Entertaining the World. And then it's got the Warner Brothers 75 Years Commercial. Then the 1997 Warner Home Video. The 1990 Warner Brothers, a Time Warner Entertainment Company, Batman Returns variant. At the end, same thing at the end. As this copy right there. The copy has no previews at all for the original pressing whatsoever. Moving on to the next one. Here's Batman Forever. 1995 movie with Val Kilmer, Tommy Lee Jones, Jim Carrey. And also has Nicole Kidman, Chris O'Donnell, Pat Hingle, Michael Golf. Directed by Joel Schumacher. Rest in peace to him. And this, move, and this is a 1995 VHS. The best Batman yet says Pat Collins at WWOR TV. Rated PG-13 for some strong stylized action. And it's 122 minutes. Closed caption, digitally processed, Dolby surround stereo. Just like on the first two Batman movies, 
here's the ink label. The print date is August 29th, 1995. Now, I saw this movie for the first time on HBO back in 1996. Good memories. And this tape for Batman Forever, it opens up with available on video November 1995 screen. A trailer for Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home. Then it's got Coming from Warner Brothers Family Entertainment screen. It shows a trailer for The Amazing Pan and Adventure, followed by Batman Forever soundtrack promo, The Warning Screen, the 1986 Warner Home Video logo with a Time Warner Entertainment Company with the fanfare, the as Bat ratio formatted screen and the Warner Brothers Pictures logo 1992 with a Time Warner Entertainment Company Batman Forever. And I believe this is the one of the last movies on VHS. This is the last Warner Brothers VHS to use the 1986 logo before they switched to the 1996 or 1997, respectively. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. Next, Batman and Robin. And this is a 1997 VHS of the 1997 movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, George Clooney, Chris O'Donnell, Uma Thurman, and Alicia Silverstone. But it also has Michael Golf, Pat Hingle, and Ellie McPherson, directed by Joe Schumacher. And this movie was turned 25 years old and it's a box office failure. Consensually dazzling, indigenous, breathtaking, says Michael Medved, New York Post. Ready PG-13 for some, some stylized action focus camera. I just want to focus here. Stylized action and some innuendo. Good God. Oh my God! Really? On a and it's 125 minutes. Well, camera doesn't want to focus here, but oh well. Focused. Well, the camera doesn't want to focus, but oh well. Here's the ink label. The print date is September 9th, 1997. <clears throat> Yeah, and we all know Batman is carrying around with a bat credit card. Yeah, I never. <laughs> yeah, I was laughing at where um, Doug Walker was completely mad, and he was goes off and he says a bat credit card. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yep. That is funny. Now, to open up to the VHS of Batman and Robin, it starts with the warning screen, a trailer for a quest for Camelot, a trailer for Lost in Space, then it's got the DVD promo, a trailer for Three Willy, Three, The Rescue, then it's got a trailer for Batman Sub-Zero, which is the animated movie, followed by the Batman and Robin action figure commercial, along with the Batman and Robin soundtrack promo, the 1997 Warner Home Video logo, the formatted screen, and the 1992 Warner Brothers Pictures logo, a Time Warner Entertainment Company. Oh, I forgot to mention, at the end, during the end credits, there's a song, A Kiss from the Rose by Seal. And this movie for Batman and Forever, it also has Drew Barrymore in there. And there's another one. I believe either Vivica A. Fox or Angela Bassett was in this film. I'm not sure which two actress besides Drew Barrymore, but if someone knows, let me know in the comments below. All right, let me put this back in here. Here's the widescreen copy of Batman and Robin. I know there is a, the first two, I mean, the first two Bat, 
the first three Batman movies also in widescreen, which I'm planning to get that. Ink label. March 25th, 1998. And this copy opens up with the warning screen, the 1997 Warner Home Video logo with the Warner Brothers 75 years entertaining the world. The Warner Brothers 75 years VHS commercial. The 1997 Warner Home Video logo. The widescreen 1992 Warner Brothers Pictures logo. Batman and Robin variant. At the end, it's got some music at the end. with distributed by Warner Brothers, a Time Warner Entertainment Company. Now we're moving on to Superman. Here it is. We'll start with this one. Superman the movie, 1978 movie. The film is, the video is from 1986. With Marlon Brando, Gene Hackman, Christopher Reeve, also starring Ned Beatty, Jackie Cooper, Glenn Ford, Trevor Howard, Margot Kidder, Valerie Perrine, Marie Schell, Terrence Damp, Felix Faxer, and Susanna York. Directed by Richard Donner. And this one is doesn't have closed caption on there. The movie that makes a legend come to life. Rated PG, and it's 143 minutes, Dolby Stereo. Here's the sticker label. Here's the end label, recorded on a scotch tape, but I reveal the print date is from October 13th, 1986. And this copy still uses the Tape Master from 1983, because it opens up with the warning screen, the 1980 Warner Home Video logo with the big W logo in a white background with a Warner Communication Company. The 1972 Warner Brothers Big W logo with released by Warner Brothers variant. The dedication to Jeffrey Onsworth starred in the movie. Back to the movie's over. Has the 70s blue MPAA PG screen. And my copy has the black screen of Tone of Death. And here's another copy of Superman the movie, and this time it's in closed caption. I know Jordan Rios has the 1979 copy of Superman the movie, and his copy is a turncated version with 127 minutes. The movie, that same thing. This, got, this time it's at the Warner Brothers Shield logo with the closed caption barcode on the back instead of the other side. Sticker label. Digitally processed. Here's the end label. Two print dates. March 11th, 1990 and March 12th, 1990. This copy opens up with the warning screen. The 1986 Warner Home Video logo with a subsidiary of Warner Brothers Incorporated, a Warner Communication Company. Then the 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures logo with a Warner Communication Company Presents variant, plastering the big W logo from 1972. The dedication to Jeffrey Onsworth, it started a movie. At the end, it's got the next year Superman 2 tag. And that's it. It went straight to black. And it's got the white screen of death with the black screen on there. I believed. And I forgot to say this on this copy too. Because this also has a Superman 2 next year tag on it. And, and I have the 2001 special edition of Superman the movie. Back. Uh, four stars, a pure delight, terrific entertainment, says Roger Ebert's video companion. This time is rated PG, 151 minutes, extra 25 minutes. Here's the tape with the dark sticker label. It's a recycle tape. The print date is July 22nd, 2001. And it opens up with the warning screen. The 1997 Warner Home Video logo. Then it's got the original theatrical trailer for Superman the movie. Then it's got the Stay Tuned bumper. The restored 1972 
Big W Warner Home Video, released by Variant. The dedication to Jeffrey Onsworth and started the movie. At the end, it's got the film restoration credits, distributed by Warner Brothers, a Time Warner Entertainment Company with the Warner Brothers website. The Superman screen test, Lois Lane screen test, and Ursula screen test. This set does not, this one does not have the Superman 2 next year tag. They remove it. On the international tape, it has the trailer for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm going to put that right next to there. Okay, moving on to Superman 2. 1981 movie, and this tape's from 1987. The Adventure Continues. With Gene Hackman, Christopher Reeve. Also has Ned Beatty, Jackie Cooper, Sarah Douglas. Margot Kidder, Jack O'Halloran, Valerie Perrine, Susanna York. Clifton James, E.G. Marshall, Mark McClure, and Terrence Stamp. Directed by Richard Lester. The Man of Steel meets his match. And this is a later printing, but this is a 1989, 127 minutes, rated PG, digitally processed. Love the original, um, artwork, but the current release, they all may alter the poster. Here's the sticker label for Superman 2. Here's the end label. The print date is January 31st, 1989 and February 1st, 1989. And this copy opens up with the warning screen the 1986 Warner Home Video logo with a subsidiary of Warner Brothers Inc., a Warner Communication Company. The 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures logo with the Warner Communication Presents variant. The Shield logo plastering the big W logo in the red background and starring a movie. At the end, that's it. No 70s blue MPAA PG screen on there. Same with the reprint of Superman the movie. Here's Superman 3. And this movie is okay, but the movie was a box office failure. It went flush completely down the toilet because it got too much Richard Pryor on there. And this movie has Christopher Reeve, Richard Pryor, also starring Jackie Cooper, Mark McClure, Annette O'Toole, Annie Ross, Pamela Stevenson, Robert Vaughn, and Margot Kidder as Lois Lane. Directed by Richard Lester. The movie's from 1983. I like this artwork. All of them on family cl classic category. Superman versus the King of Computerized Crime. Brady PG. And is 125 minutes. And this is a 1989 VHS. Here's the sticker label and label. The print date is August 12th, 1989. And this copy opens up with the warning screen, the 1986 Warner Home Video logo with the subsidiary of Warner Brothers Inc., a Warner Communication Company. The 1984 Warner Brothers Picture Shield logo with a Warner Communication Company Presents variant plastering the big W logo with the red, the background. So the first three Superman films reissued has the 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures Shield logo. At the end, it's got distributed by Warner Brothers. Same with Superman 2. And that's it. Goes to black and probably the white screen of death with black screen on there. Same with Superman 1 and 2. Finally, here's Superman 4 The Quest for Peace, 1987 movie with Christopher Reed, Gene Hackman, Jackie Cooper, Mark McClure, John Cryer, Sam Wanamaker, Mark Pillow, Mario Hemingway, and Margot Kidder. Directed by Sidney J. Fury. Also family classic. The man is... The Man of Steel declare war on nuclear arms. Brady PG and it's 90 minutes digitally processed. 
Closed caption, Dolby Stereo. Here's the sticker label. Here's the end label recorded on a scotch tape. The print date is December 23rd, 1987. And this copy opens up with the warning screen, the 1986 Warner Home Video logo with a subsidiary of Warner Brothers Incorporated, a Warner Communication Company. The 1984 Warner Brothers Pictures logo with the Superman fanfare and star of the movie. At the end, it's got Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, a canon film, and distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures, a Warner Communication Company, and Big W. Alright, well, that's it for this week's video. Hope you enjoy it. Make sure, guys, to rate, comment, and subscribe. If I, if you guys have any questions, if I miss anything, let me know. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye for now.